Hello my YouTube friends! Today I want to show you how to create unique face cams like this using masks in OBS. It's really easy to do and it looks awesome. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. So let's get to it! My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. First, we need to install a simple plugin that lets us mirror a source. Now, this plugin isn't necessary to do the mask face cams, only if you want to do multiple mask face cams which I think is really cool. So why not show it? Second, we're going to create our masks using some free software. Third, I'm gonna show you how to create the cameras and add the animation in OBS. Last, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add these cameras to any scene. So let's install that plugin quick right now and there is a link in the description so you can download it and follow along for yourself. Dream FX. I'm just gonna click go to download and we just scroll down here to the actual install file. I'm going to select this Windows one right here and once this file's finished downloading, I can just click it and it brings up our install. And I'm gonna click run on this screen and then I'm going to accept the agreement and click next. Now I already have this on my machine, so I'm not actually gonna click install, but once you do, it'll just install this on your machine and you'll be all set and ready to go. That is the last piece that we need to install to set these up. All right, that was easy. Let's create our masks. And for this, we're gonna use Pixlr E. It's a totally free web-based software. And of course, the links are in the description. Here we are in Pixlr and we've created a canvas the size of our live stream. And I'm gonna select down here on the left, the shapes, and then I'm gonna select a custom shape up here in the top. And we're gonna select this star and I'll just click off of this. And I'm gonna change the color of my fill on the star to white because that's what you want your mask color to be. And then I'm just gonna drag my star out. And if I hold down the shift key, I can make sure that it draws out correctly. Then all I really wanna do is center this up. And then I'm gonna go to file and save. And I'm gonna title my mask and click download. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a second mask. I'm gonna just make this a little bit bigger so it fills the screen just a bit more. I'm gonna once again center it up. Then I'm gonna go to File and Save. I'm gonna call this one a different thing so I know it's my second mask. Click Download. And then I'm gonna do that once again. Instead of actually changing the size, I'm gonna rotate this just a little bit and then center it up as best I can. And this isn't really a star shape, it's more blobular. but. This will work just fine for what I'm trying to do. So once I have it rotated and placed in the proper location, or at least as close as I can get it, I'm just gonna go up to File and Save, and I'm gonna call this one another name. In this case, Mask 3, because we've created three of these. So let's try another one. I'm gonna go ahead and create a full HD scene, because that's the size I stream at. I'm gonna name it and click Create. And this time, we're going to just select a different shape here. We're gonna drop down the shape box and let's select this spiky one here and I'm gonna just click off. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just drag, holding down the left mouse button and the shift key and we're gonna create our shape. I'm just gonna move it into position, centered and that looks great. That's exactly what we're looking for, easy. And then I'm just gonna go up to file and export and export PNG and then it's gonna export it with the name mask. Now I'm gonna just rotate this a little bit and I'm gonna go once again up to file and export and this will end up with the export name of mask 2 but it's a little bit faster. Just file, export, and export as a PNG. You wanna export it as a PNG so it saves the alpha. And let's create a third mask. Of course, this is the same, 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna change my shape here. We're gonna try out one of these flaming ones that are here at the bottom. Looks like a flaming birthday cake. We'll select that, we'll click off, and then we'll go ahead and drag our shape. I'm not gonna hold the shift key on this one because I wanna be able to kind of move the edges around so I get the shape that I want. Once I have what I'm looking for, I just let go of the button and I'm gonna drag this over and center it up as best I can. Then I'm just gonna go up to file and export and I'm gonna save this out. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a slightly larger version. So I'm just gonna drag the edges and in this case, I'm gonna hold that shift key so we keep, you know, about the same shape and same size. We don't wanna change it too much. Then I'm gonna just drag this and move it 
totally into the center and that looks good i'm just going to go up and file export export as png once again and i'm going to do one more thing i want to flip this horizontally so i'm going to go to layer and i'm going to go to rasterize layer and then i'm going to go to image and image rotation and i'm going to flip it horizontally there we go. Then I'm just going to go up to file and export. We're going to export as a PNG. Now we've got some awesome masks created. Let's add them into OBS. Here we are in OBS and I have three different scenes and they all just have this video playing in the background. So I'm going to click plus and add a new scene. I'm going to call this one NS main camera. This is going to be our main camera. I'm going to click OK and then click the plus under sources. Go to video capture device. Click OK. Drop down device and add my camera and then I'm going to just modify a couple of these settings so it fits properly with my camera. I'm going to use a custom audio device and select the microphone I want to be using. There we go. Test the mic. It works okay. Looking good. Then I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go and create another scene. This one we're going to call NS Green. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is click the plus. I'm going to go to Media Source. And I'm going to go ahead and name these so we don't get confused. We're going to call this one green screen and click OK. I'm going to set this to loop and I'm going to browse and I'm just going to select this green scene right here and click OK. And there we go. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to click the plus under scenes again and I'm going to create another one called NS Orange. Click OK. Now I'm going to click the plus under sources. We're going to go once again to media source and I'm going to call this one orange scene. Click OK and I'm going to go ahead and click the loop again. Browse to the location of the file and there we go. Click OK. So now we have an orange scene. So these are the scenes we're going to use to add our masks. The next thing we're going to do is create another scene. We're going to click the plus right here and we'll call this one NS star and click OK. And now I'm going to go to sources, click the plus and we're going to go to source mirror and I'm going to name this one star and click OK. And you definitely want to name these so you know what they are. Then I'm going to browse and I want my video capture device a source type source. And there we go. So then I'm going to right click on that and go to filters and I'm going to click the plus and go to image mask or blend. Click OK. Then I'm going to browse and we're going to this is the star. So I'm going to select the first star we created. There we go. And boom. Now our camera has a mask on it, but we want to take it a step further. So we're going to click plus. We're going to go to source mirror again. This time we're going to call this one star orange and click OK. And we're going to select our orange scene source. So we want the video source and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to drag this below and we're going to go ahead and right click on it and go to filters. We're going to add another mask. So we're going to click plus image mask. Click OK. Then we're going to browse to our path of our second star mask and click open. And if you remember, this is the one that's a little bigger. So there we go. Now our mask has a border on it. We're going to do one more of these. So we're going to do the green one. Let's go with star green and click OK. And then we're going to select the green scene. And of course, we're talking about the source type here. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we'll drag that all the way to the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and right click, go to filters. We're going to click plus. And we're going to go to image mask and click OK. And we're going to select our final star mask that we created. Click open. This is the one that's upside down and click close and now we can select that mask and kind of move it into a different position but there we go that's the end result right here let's create another scene and let's call this one ns spikes and click ok and we're going to click the plus and we're going to go to source mirror again and we'll call this one spikes and click ok and then we're going to drop this down and we're going to select our camera source so source type source under video capture device and there we go then we're going to add our filter to it now the reason why we're using using the mirror is because otherwise it will apply the filters directly to the source and we don't want to do that we want to create a new source every time so that we can use different masks on the same source so now we have our spikes in we're going to go back to source mirror and we're going to call this orange spikes and we're going to click OK and we're just going to select that orange source and click OK. We'll drag this down to the bottom. We're going to right click on it and go to filters. And we're going to add our mask here. And this time we're going to add that second spike mask that we created, the one that we rotated just a little bit. We're going to click open and there we go. That one looks awesome. I really like how that looks. One more to add. We're going to click the plus under scenes and we're going to call this one NS flames click OK. Then I'm going to click the plus. We're going to go back to source mirror 
and this time we're gonna call this one Flames. We're gonna click OK, we're gonna drop this down and we're gonna once again select our camera, source type source, click OK. We're gonna right click on that and go to filters, click the plus, click the image mask, click OK. And I know this is a bit repetitive, but once you watch me do it three or four times, you should be a pro. There we go, we've got our initial flame source created. Now we're gonna click the plus, we're gonna go to source mirror and this one is gonna be flames orange. Click OK. Then we just need to drop that down and select our flames orange scene. Source. We want always source type source because we don't want to change the scene. That will force it to have the mask that the other one already has. Then we're going to go to filters. We're going to click the plus and we're going to go ahead and select our mask. We're going to browse and we're going to select the second flames mask. There we go. Click open and then close. And there we go. We've got one more. We're going to click the plus and we're gonna go to our source mirror. We're gonna call this flames green, click okay. Gonna drop this down, select our flames green source type source, and we're gonna go ahead and drag that to the bottom, right click it, go to filters, click that plus button, add our mask, and then we're gonna browse to the proper mask, in this case, the flames three mask, click open and click close. So now we have all three of the masks in here. And the best part is if we don't like how something is shaped, well, guess what? We can grab that source down in sources. We can resize it. We can move it around. We can make it look however we want. And this one is shaped a little differently. So, you know, we can do a lot of different types of things with this. So we're gonna shrink some of these down a little bit, move them around, make sure that we get the look that we want. And when you've got all of that movement behind you, it really does add Add something and these are so easy they take a couple of minutes to create but once you create them you're gonna be able to use them over and over again and I'll show you that in a moment. But I think we're getting pretty close here. We're gonna move this right over here, have that nice green edge. That looks good, I like it. That is really cool and it's totally unique. Now you're gonna notice that I'm gonna use some extra video sources or whatever and I just use some ones that I found probably on Envato Elements or something like that. They're just Boca Green and Boca Orange and you don't have to have anything fancy. You could take any background that moves around and has interesting colors and use it for this technique. So don't worry about searching out some sort of magical thing. Look for some sort of short video or some sort of video that has the colors that you're looking for and then just shorten it up for your own personal use. It's really not that hard and it doesn't have to be complicated. I just happen to have these two videos sitting around because I use them all the time. And you can collect videos like that for yourself as well. Now I'm gonna show you how to add them into any scene you want really easily. All right, we did a lot of work to get here, but now we're gonna add these to our scenes. So we're just gonna go up to our first scene and then we're gonna click the plus button under sources here. We're gonna go ahead and select scene. Now we just wanna find the correct one. Well, we wanna do our NS star scene and then there it is. We just shrink it up to where we want it on the screen and we're all set. Look at that. So we can go to scene two, click the plus, go to scenes and we'll add our NS spikes scene. Boom, we can resize this, place it anywhere we want on screen and look at that. Now we've got different face cams in different scenes. We're gonna click the plus and we're gonna do it for this third scene. So we'll go up in select scenes and we're going to select the NS flames and there we go. We can just resize this, place it wherever we want. You can even put multiple face cameras in the same scene if you really wanted to. And when we switch back and forth, you can see all of these have completely different face cams with completely different masked face cam borders. It's freaking awesome. If you wanna see how you can design your own custom masks for OBS, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.